Hopefully I didn't get to record, but um, I think we did this in class. Okay. On the periods. Um, I'll come back. Because in my other class, I didn't get, I'll do the, oh, this review. All these are, you don't need to do. It's the same as last night's homework, okay? But you need to do, stop at this page, and then the back and the other page you don't have to do. All right, we'll start backwards. We'll do here, okay? You need to um, reduce, divide that by 2. So it becomes 7 over 12, um, this number. This, you take the smaller one, minus it, take that, minus the 10, so that becomes a plus plus. Okay, that's gone. Took it up to the top. The smaller of the two is a negative nine, so minus a negative nine division, so it becomes plus plus. Okay. All right, so you get um, all in the, um, in this case, x is in the numerator, so x to the 15th and y to the second, and that's your answer. Same here, reduce, no, oh, look at this, this is equals to r to the 0, right, 9 minus 9 is 0, 0 equals to 1 and 1 times whatever it's itself, so it's like it's non-existent. So reduce by 3, so the answer is 3 over 5. And then take that out, minus it, minus 3. So 10 minus 3 is um, what is it? Um, p to the 7th. And numerator, that's it, in the numerator. Okay. Here, um, you distribute first. Should have given you one like the one on the test, huh? I need to remember that on the next worksheet. Distribute, distribute. That's a one, that's a one also. So two to the third, m to the third, n to the 30th. Two to the third is eight. Okay, so eight m to the third, n to the 30th. All right, this here, you can't distribute, so I'm just gonna copy it down here, times four, times m to the seventh and times n to the fourth. Okay, so um, property rules of power means you add them with the same base, n to the one plus the 30. And then eight times four is 32. So you get 32m to the 10th, n to the 31st. That's your answer. All right. Um, here, let's see what the direction says. Graph each linear equation. Write an equation that will create a perpendicular line. Explain why your equation created a perpendicular line. Then graph your equation. Okay. Let's go. Let's make one that's perpendicular. We need it. To know our slope. First of all, we need to know the slope, right? And then we need to know the perpendicular slope. Let's put the perpendicular slope. All right, let's see. First one. That's 7 minus 7 minus 7. 0. Um, that's negative x plus y equals 2 minus 7. That's 3. Add x, add x. Doesn't matter which one you get, make zero first, x or the constant. But y equals to x plus 3. Or 3 plus x. So my rate of change is 1 
over 1. So the perpendicular is negative, opposite, that's positive, and reciprocal. Explain, okay. So my perpendicular line is y equals, I'm going to put that um, symbol for perpendicular, negative x, negative 1x, minus 7. Anything you want, any number on the y line, okay? I chose negative 7 this time. Okay, and then they say to graph it. All right, let's graph the, this equation at 3, up 1 over 1. Oh, there's 1. It just takes so long to... Okay. And then go down that way. And then draw the lines like that. And then the other one, you get negative 7. Right here, down 1, right 1. Okay, that creates a nice T. <coughs> okay, now I'll explain why, how we know what we did. We, um, what did it say to do? Explain why your equation create a perpendicular line. Creates a perpendicular line. <coughs> the equation, um, well, I'll just explain because we'll just put slope equals to 1 and a perpendicular line slope is equal to negative 1 over 1. It's opposite, that's a plus, and that's a negative. It's opposite and reciprocal. That means it's flipped. Okay, opposite and reciprocal. So let's graph that one. Negative four um, at negative five. Up four over one. Up four over one. Go down the other way. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, that's close enough. No. Okay, there we go. Now that's that line. So the slope here is the slope is voltage explaining. Slope is four over one. The perpendicular slope. Here's my symbol for perpendicular slope. Is you flip it one over four. Because this is positive, this has to be negative. So we need to write an equation with this perpendicular slope. So y equals to negative 1 over 4x. Let's say plus 2. Okay, remember, we can choose any number here on the y-intercept. Positive 2, negative 1 over 4. 1 over 4. And you may have a different equation just as long as it's this rate of change is opposite and reciprocal in this case. The rate of change had to be negative 1 over 4. And that graph it, it's going to be a perpendicular line. If you measure it, it be 90 degrees. <coughs> okay. So here you need to solve this. Can't write anything. Got, okay, make 15 equal to 0. So I'm going to add 15 to both sides. So that gives me 18 equals to 4x minus 2y, and that equals to 0. Minus 4x minus 4x, 18 minus 4x equals to negative 2y, additive inverse. Divide by negative 2. Okay, 2 negative is a positive, 2x, negative 9. Okay, now 
the slope of that line slope of that line is 2 so its perpendicular slope that's 2 over 1 that's a positive is a negative opposite and reciprocal 1 over 2 so we can write equation y equals to 1 over 2x plus 3 whatever you like it to be okay let's graph this one and this one see if it's it's 90 degrees. If not, one of our math is wrong. Okay. Mm, so negative 9 down here. Up 2 over 1. And your other one is right here. At 3. Up 2 over 1. Up 1 over 2, I mean. Hmm. It's not perpendicular. I did something wrong. Aha! Negative. Negative. Mm-hmm. Look, if I kept going... It's not a perpendicular line. These are not 90 degrees. It's greater than that. So I know this is incorrect. So always check your work, you guys. At 3, you guys don't make perpendicular line. You guys are doing it again. Down 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. <coughs> okay. So, opposite and reciprocal slope. And you do the same for here. Okay, and that's what you do. You go, okay, the slope here is negative 1 over 1, right down 1, right, right 1. Then the perpendicular slope needs to be, instead of a negative here, positive 1 over, flip that, it's still 1 over 1, right? Okay, so you write an equation, y equals, the rate of change is 1x plus or minus 3 or 2, something like that, doesn't matter. And graph it. Graph this and graph this, and it should be perpendicular lines, okay? You do that for all of this. You don't have to measure. This is the same <coughs> as the other one. Write an equation. Okay, so we know the slope here is 2 negative 2 over 1, so its perpendicular slope is um, opposite of this negative, it's a positive, reciprocal of that, 1 over 2, so y equals to 1 over 2x plus 5, and then you graph it, okay, just like the other one, you don't have to explain anything here. Okay, <coughs> if you're at home and I didn't go over this, you don't have to measure all the angles. Um, for the solution, though, you need to solve the solution. You need to find the intercept. You need to, you need to solve this using um, substitution. So you take that and make that equals to that. Um, 2x minus 3 equals to negative 1 half x minus 1. Get rid of the fractions. Don't turn it into decimal work with, with fractions, you guys. You can get rid of it. But you don't turn it into... 4x minus 6 equals to negative 1x minus 2. Add 1x, add 1x. 
you get 5x minus 6 equals to negative 2. Add 6, add 6, you get 5x equals to 4. Divide by 5, x equals to um, 4 over 5, right? So x is 4 over 5. To find y, we need to substitute okay, into the problem. Let's see, which one would be we want to substitute? Um, we'll use that one. Most of you, you, y equals 2 instead of x here. We put 4 over 5 minus 3. So that's 8 over 5 minus 3. You need to change that 3. Least common denominator is 5, so times 5 is 15 over 5, okay? Least common denominator is 15 over 5. So minus, instead of 3, you minus 15 over 5. Get y equal to negative 7 over 5. That's your answer where they meet. Okay, what do you notice about the rate of change? The rate of change, m is 2. This one right here, m is 2. The slope is 2. This slope, the perpendicular slope, is m, the perpendicular slope, so you write like that, is negative 1 half. It's opposite and reciprocal. And the graph should look like one of these t's, you see? Nice T's. All right. And then you should know how to do the rest. That's all it is. Um, okay. Any other question, leave.